Hi, I am Sheikh Mahbub Basha. Welcome to my channel. Happy learning. Hi students. Welcome to second day class. Today we will discuss about the temperature and kinetic energy of the particles. Solid, liquid, gas is consisting of molecules and the molecules has movement and that movement is measured in terms of kinetic energy. There is some relation between kinetic energy and temperature. Whenever a body is hot, its particles will be moving at a higher speeds than the body which is relatively at lower temperature. So let us do this activity to understand this movement of the particles relation to the temperature. Two glass tumblers are taken. Hot water is poured into one of these tumblers. Then cold water is poured into another tumbler. Now Dettol is taken. Two drops of Dettol is dropped into hot water and cold water simultaneously. Observe the diffusion and movement of this Dettol particles. You can observe that the spreading of Dettol particles is faster in hot water when compared to cold water. So students you have observed that the particle movement in hot water is more than the particle movement in cold water. So you can conclude that hotter body particles movement is faster and colder body particles movement is slower. So the speed and slow is measured in terms of kinetic energy. So the conclusion is a body at higher temperature has more kinetic energy. In other words, more the kinetic energy of the particles, more is the temperature. Less is the kinetic energy of the particles, less will be the temperature. So, temperature and kinetic energy of the particles are directly proportional to each other. More the kinetic energy, more will be the temperature. Less the kinetic energy, less will be the temperature. Okay? Yes, students. Observe this picture carefully. This picture carefully. Here, there is a cylindrical jar and it has a lid and that lid has two holes to place two thermometers. So it is a transparent glass jar. You can say cylinder. First, hot water roughly 60 to 70 degrees Celsius is poured into the filled into this glass jar. So hot water is first taken into the cylinder. Next, slowly and carefully pour the coconut oil along the walls of the container slowly, slowly so that it settles on the top of the water. So water is at the bottom and coconut oil, coconut oil is at the top. There are two layers of foam. Okay. Now, Place the lid with the two thermometers. One thermometer bulb is inside the water and another thermometer bulb is in coconut oil. Okay. So, glass jar, hot water, over that cold coconut oil, there is a lid and there are two thermometers. One thermometer bulb is inside the hot water another thermometer bulb is inside the coconut oil. If you carefully observe the readings of the thermometers, you can observe that the thermometer whose bulb is in hot water, reading is slowly decreasing and the reading of the thermometer whose bulb is in the coconut oil is slowly increasing. That means the hot water is losing its hotness, its temperature, on the other hand, the cold coconut oil is uh, raising its hotness or uh, increasing its uh, temperature. 
so as the moving molecules of the hot water collides with the coconut oil molecules the kinetic energy is transferred so kinetic energy of the hot water molecules is transferred to the cold coconut oil molecules therefore as the loss of kinetic energy the temperature of the water is decreasing as the gain of kinetic energy temperature of the coconut oil is increasing so conclusion is kinetic energy is the measure of temperature temperature is the measure of kinetic energy hot water initially has more kinetic energy so more temperature as time passes it lost the its molecules has lost the kinetic energy so its temperature is decreased on the other hand initially coconut oil molecules has very low kinetic energy and as time passes these molecules coconut oil molecules has gained kinetic energy so its temperature increased so this activity is an evidence for the temperature kinetic energy relation so more the temperature more will be kinetic energy in other words more the kinetic energy more will be temperature so temperature and kinetic energy are directly proportional to each other here we got one more conclusion that heat has transferred from hot water to cold coconut oil so we conclude that heat energy flows from a hot body to a cold body what is the hot body hot body here water what is the cold body coconut oil heat has transferred from hot water to coconut oil so we can conclude that heat is a form of energy which always flows from a body at higher temperature to a body at a lower temperature